Hello, oh, this is Dusty. Today I just want to give some advanced tips and tricks for dying late too. Uh, to start out, I want to suggest that you upgrade your throwing knives as early as possible uh, at the start of the game. Whenever you res uh, get to the bazaar, which is very early, you'll have access. Uh, yeah, you should have access to throwing knives by now. But, uh, yeah. This early in game, you could easily get some upgrades for your uh, throwing knives without even having to swing your weapon. This particular howler to the right always spawns. So, don't kill the guy, just have him start the chase, and then proceed to the light, and just hide behind this fence. If there's an enemy that appears behind you, just jump up. But, since I'm at a higher level, I could just, uh, hold them towards me. Sometimes they just die outright, sometimes they don't. Yeah, sometimes they just randomly die with a grapple shot. But yes. Over here, you could... I mean, early on, you'll have nothing, so you just have to let them burn to death like that. But uh, later on, once you have access to blasting mods, you can just uh, use that. But because I beat the game, these, uh, these particular virals are adjusted to my level, so... Uh, don't worry about that. But... Anyways, by upgrading your throwing knives, you you can easily uh, kill these guys through the fence, and there's not much they could do against you. This is especially true at higher levels. Because at lower levels, these guys don't have a lot of HP. Which means a single throwing knife could take them out. But yeah, this is one way you can kill them faster. Anyways. The UV light can just outright kill these guys and you can, uh... Harm trophies this way. As odd as it sounds, uh... Before you beat the game, these guys are only at level 1. So... If you upgrade the throwing knives, uh, you could get it to do up to 188 damage, I believe. Yeah, 188 damage, which is nice because uh, you could kill a volatile in two shots as long as you have throwing knives, which is which will make farming uh, trophies a lot easier. What's so good about the throwing knives is 
It could kill volatiles. You could uh, kill viral patrols in inside dark zones. You could actually clear up howlers too. I don't know if these guys are upgraded, but let's see. I got the dead of night. Sometimes, sometimes you just want to get on the lower floor, and a howler is in the way. So you just. But yes, you could clear out howlers very easily. Especially at lower levels, since they could they die in one shot. And then And because you get you can upgrade your uh, throwing knife so early. You could. This is your highest damaging weapon at lower levels. So, by taking the time to upgrade this all the way, you have the most powerful weapon until uh, about until around rank four or five. So, all the more reason you should do this very early in the game. Next, we'll talk about uh, weapon mods. In particular, these are the three best ones. The fling, the catapult, and the enforcement. If you could get the Korok, even better. Still, what makes this so special is that... Uh, with the blast mod, you just fire off four shots every minute. And once you're done with it, you can just... But yeah, you can still use it in as a normal weapon. But what makes this part particular combination so deadly is that weapon mods, even though they're called... Even though... Let's see, how's it put? Like, even though this is a blast mod, sometimes it will still apply after a critical hit. So, what these, it would actually do 640 damage instead of uh, 320. This even works, uh, this even works when you shoot someone with a blast mod. With a blast mod, you still have a 25% to trigger the crit mod, which is funny because it would mean you're shooting someone and then that shot is shooting something else. So yeah, it's a very funny combination. Very good. Especially since it recharges every, especially since once you upgrade it to full, once you upgrade it to full, it recharges once every 60 seconds. So every 60 seconds, you could fire off the floor weapons again. Give it a second here. But yeah, you'll know when it reloads because that mod on the weapon glows distinctively. Do that or yellowish glow on the weapon. That means the weapon's loaded. But it's very handy, especially uh, earlier in the game. You actually gain access to this particular, you gain access to catapult when you reach the, um, when you reach the central loop. 
if you give this power station to uh, the peacekeepers, you get get it even earlier. But otherwise, uh, if you're going the survivor route, you could uh, wait until you gain access to the fort. Then you could gain. Uh, then you could buy the catapult. Anyways, last interesting tip is actually for the grappling hook. Uh, give me a second. For best overall results, I'll head over to City Central and rest up a bit. Hello, here. It is possible to climb up vertically on some walls. And to showcase this, I'm going to get into morning. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yes. It's very good if you have these two particular skills. Um, this will make it easier, but this will make it even better. Right, inhibitors. The more inhibitors you take, the more seizures you get. And this particular area always has this chest available. Sometimes you just want to access some areas that are not... Oh, how should I put this? Let's just say I want to reach that high point. I... There is no shortcut from what I can see. But you can... Whoops. Right. Anyways, you can't grapple some surfaces. But yes, you can climb walls vertically, uh, to some extent, by just spamming the wall run jump and the grappling hook. Anyways, uh, from here, I'll talk about spoiler. So, if you don't want to hear any spoilers, you might want to switch the video off now. Anyways. For the... For Old Villador, which is up here. If you side with the peacekeepers at any point or give them the water tower both of these locations will lose their vendors however uh you will still get to keep the bazaar if you side with the survivors i know i'm actually not a huge fan of the survivors in old vildor but if you want to but they, uh, having a shop here is definitely useful. Especially, it's especially nice that you get to keep uh, the UV lights on here. And in order to access this area of the map, uh, you have to side with uh, the peacekeepers in lowering the flood waters but otherwise this area is flooded 
still, you can come here when it is still flooded and swim down to the chest to grab these. Yeah, swim down to the chest and open them that way. However, uh, by doing that, it takes a really long swim. And it's not guaranteed that you won't drown in the process of unlocking these chests. So. Two major story decisions. Side with the uh, survivors here. Side with the peacekeepers at the end of the game. Oh, and a small bonus. This vendor in this vendor here in this particular church they this is the only vendor i know that sells herbs so if you ever need herbs just unlock this metro station run over here and use the vendor buy the herbs good for honey too but anyways that's all the tips i have for now thanks for watching my video it'd be great if you could like and subscribe i'll see you guys next time